There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> the strength of my body drained instantly and my head suddenly became heavy. My knees buckled under the temptation and hit the floor. Then my whole body abruptly, abruptly collapsed. My face should have hit the floor, but it was comfortable, as if I had fallen onto a downfield futon. My consciousness reeled and then receded. It was a kind of sensation like if you took a nap in the car, but you were still half awake and could listen to your parents talking as if they were far away. No, you wouldn't be listening. You would only be hearing it. It was, it was happening so far away and the conversation was completely unrelated to you, so you wouldn't have any interest in it. So whether Shion was yelling in my ears or Mion was in vulgar hysterics, I didn't think it annoying, nor, nor did it interest me. Now then, I, w I wonder how I should go about preparing you. Oh yes, what do you think of a bed of nails? I tested it on those two little brats, but their hands were too small for the re restraining table. Okay, and don't worry, this, this is the part I was thinking of. Let's do that then. Let's, ah. Uh, Mion held, held me up from being, held me up from behind and dragged me across the floor. The soles of my feet scraped on, scraped on it and one of my shoes fell off. No, not my shoe. I mean, never mind. Please stop it, sis. P please. Ah. Shion's emotions exploded outwards and she burst into uh, bitter weeping. As if her crying had uh, whetted Mion's interest. This is the old music again, isn't it? She, I thought it was like the creepy music from Boa, but this is just the annoying music. She, uh, she held, flung me. She held, flung me down. Okay, I think there should be a comma there. I'm reading it as if there's a comma there. She held, flung me down, and returned to the prison cell again. My, you sh uh, you sure can cry with a cute voice, can't you? Your unnatural bravado was making my skin crawl, but this definitely suits you the best. I don't know. I feel like it's still really low quality and annoying. Mion, my big sister, I beg you. I don't care how you choose to kill me, but please at least let Kei Chan go. I'm begging you. Xion had always acted as though she was a cut above her older sister. That Xion, in such a miserable voice that I, I couldn't have imagined it during those peaceful times, frustrated herself before, before the older sister and she used to scoff at and pleaded forgiveness. Mion looked down with an expression of cool indifference, one that was plainly smiling with joy. You know, I wasn't planning on listening to your p petty wishes. The way you're crying, though, it's just too funny. I think maybe I'll change my mind and listen to you. Since come to think of it, I never did anything big sister-like for you. Yes, yes, thank you so much. All right then, let's hear you hear you apologize for everything. Then maybe I'll let you be water, let, let it all, all be water under the bridge. And maybe, just maybe, I'll let Kei-chan go. Mio said she might let me go, but she never said anything about letting Xion go. Before long, Xion got her hands and knees behind the bars and began to speak weak words of apology. They were too faint for me to hear, but their intention got across. Despite having watched her with a magnificent, jubilant expression, Mion kicked the bars and declared she was unsatisfied. You think you can make up for years of grudges and hard feelings like this? That just will not do. I guess I'll make mince me out of you both. <laughs> no, what is this? One more chance. Just one more chance. Mion stopped and waved her hand again in resignation. Not because she had grown impatient, but only because she had taken delight in abusing Xion. Lovely, love, sister love. Uh, wait, so is Mion in cuffs yet? If not, why the fuck not? No, um, they were going to, but uh, Mion said, oh, can I just have 30 minutes of Keiichi's time or something? And he's like, yeah, sure, why not? Basically, so, uh, and then she laid it, um, led him into... Uh, her torture dungeon and this is what's happening now and Raina doesn't know what's going on and they isn't probably going to call the cops in just yet and she probably didn't even know where they went because it's an underground thing oh did they yeah they make the yeah but they still didn't like, she, she do, still doesn't know exactly where they went. They can just hear what what uh, she said. You can't apologise to my satisfaction anyway. I'll teach you how to make an apology that will later get through to your older sister. I'm only going to tell you once, and if you even get a letter wrong, you're out. Got it? Yes, yes. Th thank you, sis. Oh. What the hell was that? Oh. She was miserable voice cried out, having become utterly hoarse. The sensation tearing through my chest returned a little at a time. I realised 
it was feelings of anger bubbling up. I was slowly regaining control of my body. However, I was only able to feel my skin and my blood flowing at the moment. I still couldn't voluntarily move, move my fingers. Did you memorize it? Then let's hear you say it. Sincerely and, f and faithfully from beginning to end with all your heart. If you can do it properly, then I'll only kill you. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. Something was strange. Something had become strange at some point. Until just a few minutes ago, I was sure this had been Mion, but at some point, at some point she had become someone else. The Mion I knew would never do something like nasty like this, like enjoying trampling all over someone's dignity like this. Eh, uh, debatable, she's kind of a bitch. Like even her good, her good uh, version, still kind of. Still pretty like evil, with the, like the club activities and stuff. Now, let's hear it. Your big sister is listening closely. She, Shion Sodazaki is. When I ran over to Shion so earlier, uh, had the real thing been swapped out with a fake right, right, right behind me? Anyway, this couldn't possibly be me on. Shion Sodazaki is a lowly, worthless soul. Uh, not even fit to lick her big, big sister me on's feet. <laughs> and when I think of it, the countless times I've been rude to my big sister w without knowing of my place. Yes, yes, that's the spirit. I permit you to say a little more now, okay? Blood circulated through my whole body. My numb, ne my numb senses were returning. Just a little more. While she is still, still holding me on's, no, that thing pretended to be me on's attention. Hurry up. I reflect on how impertinent I've been and swear loyalty to, to my big sister Mion for the rest of my life. Yeah, we're getting drinking, they're like, alright. <clears throat> for the rest of my life, so, uh. Evil laughing. Oh god. Mion's burst out laughing echoed throughout the big cave, growing, in, growing to a terrifying level. That was not the laugh of someone who was alive in this world, it was none other than the laugh of a demon from the bowels of the earth. She laughed on the stomach until she grew tired of it and stopped smiling suddenly as if snapping a wire. Alright, Red. Alright, already. That was funny enough for me. I don't think you'd throw away so much of your pride. Hmm. That was plenty enjoyable. Uh, Mion began to drag me again after I finally got the feeling into my body bag and pulled me towards the torture chamber. S sis, uh, only kill me. Please, forgive him. Don't worry, all right. I'll be sure to kill you real good. After, af, uh, after letting you get an uh, an earful of K Chan's screams, that is. No. That was a very, uh, very terrified scream. After dragging me to the torture chamber, she skillfully strapped me into the restraining table. I like how he's, <laughs> I love how he's like narrating this like perfectly. Like he's getting tortured, but he's still I got like perfect English. Before I knew it, I was sprawled out and bound. She forced open my hands. Uh, with what I couldn't even make make a satisfying fist and tightly restrained each of my each one of my fingers. She fastened only my hands and my fingers at that, tightly tightly with hinges and locked them in place. Sis, don't kill him, sis. The big door to the cave with the jails had been left open so I could hear Shion's cries of mortification the entire time. Can you hear it, Shion? I'm going to get started now. Please enjoy K-Chan's young screams. Give it a fucking rest. Wow. Okay. Wow. Rude. Please. This is this is a PG thirteen. The feeling in my body returned, and the first action I took was to tell to tell off me on that thing looked like me on. What? Well, I think I read that wrong. Awake at last, are we? I lied before, you know, about having wanted to give Shion the most miserable death of all, but locking her up because I hadn't thought of a good way yet. That was a lie. Lies. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I've made a massive mistake. What have you done? Mion brought over something like a toolbox. From inside it, she removed a large metal hammer, and next to it, and next to that, she began to line up with which looked like long, strangely shaped nails, whose ends had been turned into hooks like the kind you see on a harpoon. Uh, uh, I let I let her hear the screams of all those people that died because of her, and after they soaked it into her very soul, then I kill her. Oh my god, what did you do? Oh my god. Well, I'm glad that it didn't, um... Oh, 
much I better. What? Why am I getting added to a group? A very, very bad things are happening now. Please help me, please. No, I'm not joining a video call. I'm sorry. I'm glad it didn't pop up on stream. That would be bad. Uh, I've got a pretty good taste, huh? Cool, cool, cool. Who, who are you? Ha, huh, I'm Mion, Mion Sunasaki. Has the, has the fear driv, tri, that driven you crazy? No, you're not. There's no way you can be Mion Sunasaki. Mion snorted and continued her preparations for this horrifying torture. I see. Then if I'm not Mion, who am I? A, a demon. Huh? You're not Mion. Mion was just here. Give her back. Oh god, he's going insane. Just leave. Why are you complaining to me about it? Kei-chan, is your brain really doing okay? You're not going crazy with fear. Don't touch me, you damn demon. Give her back. Give me on back. My best friend, give me on back. Men stood there for a few moments with her jaw hanging open, not having expected me to say that. I myself knew that I was about to go insane. I knew it was nonsense to demand me on to return when she was right in front of me. But but this person in front of me couldn't possibly have been me. He said that throughout like this entire game. Like, oh no, the Shion can't really beat me on. And all this bullshit. Just hulk up again. I know, right? <sighs> we Tom attack it a bit, bit slap him. <laughs> bit slapper. There was no way I could accept that. So this is what I thought. Mion really had been possessed by a demon and was controlling Mion as if as if uh, it were a separate personality. It was just a victim being manipulated by it. The evil one was really this thing. It had all been the doing of the demon possessing her. That's some creepy laughs. <clears throat> when Mion heard that, she started to gu guffle. I haven't seen that word before. Laughing so hysterically that she started to cough and almost choked. Amazing. You really are a piece of work, you know that. In this very moment, Sonizaki, Mion Sonizaki is trying to kill you. And you're trying to reject me? I never knew that was such a funny person in all the world. In all the world. If you want to laugh, do it all you want. No matter what you say, though, I won't accept that that you're me. Oh my god. <clears throat> Give her back. I'll wait with you, demon. <laughs> I'll wait with you. Keishan, are you trying to kill me by dr drowning me in your own tears? Wahaha. 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 No matter what, I wouldn't lose the la laughing of hers. I shouted loudly. I shouted from the bottom of my heart so that the real Mion trapped inside the Mion I saw in front of me would be able to hear. <clears throat> okay. You can do it, Mion. Don't lose to this piece of shit, Deepin. You're strong. Show me how strong you are. The tears welled up and flooded down her face. Her hands were busy with the rest restraint, so she couldn't even wipe them. She just let them flow. Please, Mion. Mion. Where did you lose to a demon like this? You're not that weak, are you? Don't lose. Fight. Fight. Mion, desperately enjoying her laughter, pressed one of the long nails to the tip of my left pinky. In her left hand was the hammer. Uh, and her side was a dozen more nails. I could tell that she, what she was about to do, though I wish I couldn't. Even so, I couldn't afford to be scared. That was why I shouted. My sides hurt, like they're about to split. Big on thought. Wait, Jesus, now. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh. I can't remember. I thought they were, like, trying to, um. Like, rip the nails off rather than impale them. I'm not sure what he said there. I'm going to get started now. Be sure to give her some good screams. Not only am I torturing you, Kei-chan, but I'm torturing Shion as well. Why? Why would you? Mion. Then I wept. Only sobs came out. They weren't in acceptance of the torture about to be performed, however. There were tears of regret that, that Mion had lost to the demon. Yet a small change did occur in the Mion in front of me. Her heightened excitement was draining little by little. By the time I realised that the only the, the one in front of me had returned to be a Mion. Kei-chan, this may not be something pleasant to take to the grave with you. You really seem to want to know though, so I'll tell you just one thing. I didn't know... If this was me or not just a display of momentary humanity the demon had recovered. A long time before the demon came to live inside me, it was gnawing at my heart trying to spur, spur me to violence, but I suppressed it with my reason. That settled the demon down and I got to thinking it had, it had gone away somewhere, uh, as if it turned out I was wrong. It hadn't left me, it had just gone to sleep. 
I noticed that there were tears forming her in her eyes. The demon woke up again due to a certain small opportunity. What do you think that opportunity was? There was a sad yet reproachful light in Leon's eyes. Do you understand? I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Uh, what gave the demon the, change, ch uh, the chance to beat Leon? This might be strange for me, a demon, to say, but you're the reason that everything got so messed up. The tears welling up in our eyes spilled downwards all of a sudden. At the time, if you had given me that doll you got without hesitating, maybe everything wouldn't have got so twisted. Oh no, it was the doll. <laughs> in the first place, it was all the doll. Oh god damn. The doll I got. That doll that I got. When when we had our, had our club meeting at the toy store that Sunday. You probably can't understand. I wouldn't expect you to, but you see... All sorts of things started falling over like dominoes after that, and soon it was too much for me to control. She's uh, She took that a bit too far, huh? It only makes sense that you, you wouldn't be aware of knocking over the first one, since it was so small, but you're the one who set it up. That, that can't be... M me? If you hadn't made me on cry, then I wouldn't have had to wake up. Is that enough? For you to die in peace? A mistake. That I made on that day was what messed everything up? That, that can't be, can it? It only mess, makes sense that you wouldn't be aware of it. Even so, Keicho, you are without a doubt the cause. If you had nonchalantly given me the doll that, do the doll that day, then I don't think this would have happened. Yeah, I know, right? I wanted to say, like... Uh, yeah, but uh, she did, like, the murders of the other years, right? So it wasn't even, like, just that. I wanted to say, like, uh, like I just remembered something as I recalled that day. Rainy had told me about that, and I thought I, I thought I had apologised. I didn't apologise to Mion, though. It had been Shion. In other words, oh god. I hadn't said a single word of apology to Mion. Not because he thought they were the same person, so he completely already screwed up. Wonderful. Today I came to his house, to, uh, came to this house, saying that I had something to apologise for, but I never said a word of apology about this. Come to think of it, when I apologised for going into the ritual storehouse, Mion looked a little bit lonely like she was disappointed. Why didn't I realise that until just now? Mion had told me at the time, and now she herself, no, the demon was telling me. Is the only way for a dense idiot like me to be cured to die together? Or die altogether? Ugh. I could no longer hold back the hot tears from pouring out of me. I simply just cried and cried and reflected indifferently on the taste of my tears, on the taste of regret. Can I start now then? This method of torture is very simple. I nail one of these into the joint of your the end of your left pinky finger. Oh, okay. It is, uh, that's the other thing I'm thinking of. Then I nail each one in order until I get to your thumb. And then I go back to your pinky and nail one into the joint of the middle. And so on until, the, until I hammer 15 nails into your left hand. When that's over with, I'll do your right hand next. After that, if you're still conscious, I'll tell you. There are a lot of nerves bundled in your fingertips, so it hurt far more than you can imagine. Some people apparently pass out before you finish hammering 30 nails into their hands, so... Me will prepare, uh, press the tip of the nail into my left pinky finger. My wrists, my arms, and all the joints of my fingers were strapped in so tightly it hurt, and I couldn't even twitch. I didn't hesitate at all when I was torturing the others. Why do I hesitate now? If this will satisfy your demon, Mion. If it was state, If it was sat... Say Sate the demon, uh, then do to me what you will. Damn, he's such a man. Like, what the hell? Uh, uh, are you serious? Compared to how much I hurt me on, this is nothing, right? Uh, debatable. You just, like, didn't give him a teddy. Give her a teddy. Like, Jesus Christ. Do as much as you want. In exchange, promise me two things. Me was silent. She did, however, wait for me to speak. After you satisfy her causing me pain, forgive Shion. Shion, she's been... Oh, because she, she's been punished enough to make up make up for a crime of sneaking into the storehouse, hasn't she? You. After all this, you can still worry about Shion more than yourself. The other thing is that when you've had 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 your fill, you disappear. Give that body back to Mion. That's all. You know. Uh, you're. Are you not even considering possibly possibly begging for your life or anything? Can I ask you to promise three things instead of two? The third is to leave me alive. You said turn the beginning, didn't you? So you can't have any more. That's a shame. 
In such an abnormal situation, Miron and I laughed quietly together as if sharing in a, sharing in a stupid joke. Okay, he gets pegged. Jesus Christ. He's very pain resistant, yeah. He's like a bitch, but also like one hardcore mofa. I probably won't keep I probably won't keep these promises, understand? I'm a demon after all. I guess there's nothing I can do then. I recall tightening my hands into a fist when it, when endured the pain at the dentist's office. Right now right now though, they were opened all the way to my fingertips, so I couldn't even grip them. So instead, I touched into my toes. Yes, that's exactly what she meant. Okay, do it. I prepared myself already. Have you really though? <laughs> Is that like crash courses for like nails in thinkers? So do it. You waiting like this to hammer the nails in is scarier. It's going to uh, diminish my readiness after all. Me will put down the hammer and gently stroke my cheek. Okay, Chan. I'll agree to, to just the third thing, okay? Huh? My third wish? To, to save me? Should agree to it? Your first wish? To save Xion. That's long That's long done for. This, the demon will kill her. It's already been decided, so I can't stop that. So give up on that. Her delicate fingers slid from my cheek to my chin. As for the second wish, to give the body back to Mion, that won't happen either. After today, Mion will never come back. From today on, even if my body is here, it will just be a body. Because the Oni has taken it taken it over. That, that isn't true. Mion is Mion. Don't say such... I like he's still like so determined. Like, Mion is Mion. Don't say such, su uh, such sad things. Like that she won't ever come back. Can you hear it? That sound. Mion gently closed her eyes and listened. I definitely heard it as well. Slam. It was a dull noise that repeat, repeated at fixed intervals. A low noise accompanied by vibrations. A lot of people were ramming their iron doors to this underground ritual storehouse. You're late. Serena probably called Uishi. That spaced out girl being so quick thinking was the one who I didn't anticipate. I'll agree with you there. Mion grinned like she had been outwitted, then took something out like, like an electric razor out of her pocket. When she pressed the switch, pale blue sparks flew out with a snapping noise. You've probably never seen one like this before, right? It's a real stun gun. It's illegal, and its output has been increased quite a bit. Was that with what you hit me before? That's not a children's toy you should be playing with, you know? Yeah, neither there's like a torture chamber, to be honest. <laughs> You're right. She seemed to want to use the stun gun on me. Unable to move, I felt I pressed a cool lump of metal to my neck. I heard a roar as though, she, as though they'd broken down the first large door. The, ho the halls were a bit complex, but aside from the door to, this, door to this very torture chamber, there was nothing in their way. I won't kill you, but I will have you go to sleep for a bit, Kei-chan. Urishi will be here soon. This will only hurt a bit. Feeling the same shock as before, gritting my teeth wasn't going to help much, but I clenched them tightly anyway. However, just as, she, just as she did, when she was about to hammer the nails in, she hesitated a little. I cracked over my tightly closed eyelids. Oh, yeah, you're right. I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't. I didn't want to reveal mine. I thought. I thought I was the only one. I'm sorry for disgracing Mion. I had made a promise before coming in here. Whatever happens, the Mion inside my heart won't change. I, look, forget about that. If you ever see me after today, don't come near me. By then, it will be the demon that inherited my corpse. Oh, what? Oh, this is me on for like a second. That inherited my corpse. What are you talking about? Just as I tried to say that, as a much stronger light than before shined. Like a television being switched off, my consciousness went black. Oh, boy. The fuck? Was that it? June 1983, a string of disappearances occurred. I'm never going to read this. I'm not going to read this. I can't. I can't read this fast. If that's seriously out, I'm going to be so disappointed. I feel like there's something like similar that happens on something else. That's like way better than this. Hmm. I'm gonna look through I'm gonna quickly skip through the anime after this and see like what I'm actually 
get myself into because I thought this was something completely different. I hate how they have this um, on autopilot. It's just like too, it's too fast to read for my like my retarded reading. I thought that scene would have gone on for like a few hours, honestly. Oh yeah, for sure. He was in like a torture dungeon watching people get killed for like four days straight. Hmm. Maybe the thing I was I was thinking about was like the uh the sec like the second half um pairing for this. Because I know more stuff like that happens in the torture dungeon and it's really really good <laughs> 